How you doing? Um, the, the special counsel just put out a, the transcript of his uh, interview with okay. the president, and it doesn't. It has a lot in there. Now, in addition to some questions about his memory, yeah. the Democrats say that it is totally gratuitous for him to to go and uh, talk about his memory. What is your response to that? Well, I think on the contrary, he had to explain why he wasn't charging, recommending charges against a guy, the president, when he found the special counsel found that Biden willfully retained classified information, knowing that he wasn't supposed to have it, and willfully disclosed it. So, I mean, if those facts are true, and this is what's in his report, he's going to have to explain, well, then why are you not charging him? And his explanation was, well, because he doesn't think he can convict him, because the guy's basically not fit to stand trial. I mean, so he's in a little bit of a bind, her was. I mean, if you're not going to recommend charges when you found that he willfully, knowingly retained and disclosed it, I mean, you've got to say something. They're so saying, They're saying he's giving his opinion about his memory when his opinion is not warranted. Well, it is warranted. He's the prosecutor. I mean, here's the real problem, though. It's not her. It's Garland. I mean, Garland has a choice to make, which he's, of course, made, and that is he needs to either charge the president, which means effectively recommending impeachment because a sitting president can't be charged, or he needs to go to the cabinet and invoke the 25th Amendment. But it can't be both that Biden can't stand trial because he doesn't have the mental capacity, and he's 100% fit to do the job as president now and for four more years. I mean, those things can't both be true. It's got to be one or the other. Do you have concerns also about, given the fact that you're concerned about Biden's handling of classified records, what about Trump's handling of classified records and the fact that Trump didn't uh, cooperate with the prosecutors? Yeah, well, I think that this case, I mean, here's the other thing, is that the way the Biden Justice Department has handled this, I think completely bulldozes their case against Trump. I mean, the special counsel found Biden willfully and knowingly retained the classified documents. He never had the right to have them in the first place, unlike Trump. Trump's the former president. The Presidential Records Act covers him. The thing with Trump is, could he, should he have retained them or not? With Biden, he should never have had them. Trump and, didn't cooperate. And, yeah, but listen, uh, neither did Biden. And he sat down for an interview. He talked to them extensively. But that, that doesn't excuse the fact he committed a crime. I mean, just because you later say the prosecutor, oh yeah, structure them. I I, obta I retained it. I disclosed it. I committed a crime. But I'll be nice to you now, so don't charge me. I mean, that's absurd. No prosecutor in America does that. And what this shows is, is that it's a total double standard. And the and the Biden administration, they're not serious about this at all. They're serious about trying to jail this president's political opponents, just like they tried to get him taken off the ballot so voters couldn't decide on it. I mean. It's ridiculous. It's totally ridiculous. And I think this exposes the absurdity of all of it. Senator, yes, what do you make of the TikTok bill that is likely to clear the House? Is something you support? And also, yeah. the TikTok CEO, has he reached out to you personally to try and oh, schedule no. a meeting up here on Capitol Hill? Yeah, definitely not. He's definitely not reached out to me. Uh, listen, I've, <laughs> I, of course, have gone round and round with him and with TikTok even before he was there. And uh, I've multiple times tried to get TikTok to testify under oath. He and I, of course, recently sparred just uh, a few weeks ago in the big tech hearing when I told him to his face that his app ought to be banned. I mean, they are essentially an espionage app. So you asked about the House bill. Absolutely, I would support it. I don't think it's a perfect bill, but I think it's better than nothing. So I would absolutely support it. I hope it'll get a vote on the Senate floor. But as I have long predicted, it sounds to me now like it's not going to. I mean, already you have the majority that are single. I don't know. I need to talk to my committee chairs. I wish it were this. I wish it were that. Big tech owns the floor of the United States Senate. You may as well just put a sign up on the Senate door that says, owned by big tech. I mean, this Senate is bought and paid for by these corporations. If they don't want it, it doesn't move across the floor. That's true of big tech, it's true of big pharma. I mean, this, this Senate is totally, wholly owned subsidiary of those corporations. What about Trump's opposition to this? I agree with him the first time on it, the first time around on this, when he as president tried to ban it. That, should, should he have not flip-flopped on this? Well, I mean, he'd make up his own mind, but I don't agree with it. I mean, I think it should be banned, and I think the right thing to do, he tried to do it under CFIUS, you know, the review process. Biden has sat on the CFIUS review for three and a half years. Uh, so, I, listen, I, I think it ought to be banned. Or you could force a sale. I mean, if you could force an actual sale, that'd be fine. But um, there doesn't appear to be any prospect of that. A State Department Commission report came out that found that if Congress and the government doesn't do anything to enact more policy on AI, it's going to be an existential threat to humanity. And they suggested specifically specific policy items like uh, reducing the export of chips yeah. and uh, putting limits on the amount of computing power that AI can be used for learning. Yeah. Do you, good idea. either one of those? Yeah, that's, that sounds like a good idea. And listen, I, I and Senator Blumenthal, we have bipartisan legislation on AI, but this goes back to what I said a second ago. I mean, do you think any AI legislation is going to see any time of day on the Senate floor? Uh, not in this Senate. 
Because why? Who owns the AI technology and is developing it? The same mega corporations. Google, Microsoft, Meta, uh, you know, TikTok probably too. I mean, these guys, if they don't want it, it doesn't see time on the Senate floor. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Democrats, Republicans, it doesn't matter. All of them bought and paid for by these corporations. So I'm not holding my breath. We've had six hearings or more, Senator Blumenthal and I. We have bipartisan legislation. It's the most common sense legislation. Like for instance, if they take big tech takes your images off your Facebook page or Instagram or whatever and uses AI to turn them into something else, you ought to be able to sue. You think that I mean that's easy, right? That's simple. They can do that to all the media companies you all represent. But will big tech even allow that to get a vote on the floor? No, of course not. Of course not. They own the side. What do you make of the pushback from young people to the House's legislation on TikTok? Well, you know, what I've heard from a lot of folks in the, in the House who are fielding those calls is that what people were telling them is they had to, in order to access their app, their TikTok app, and I don't have it, to be clear, so I'm not sure how it works, they had to, like, hit the button and make a call. I mean, you talk about, I mean, commandeering people and manip trying to manipulate folks and essentially lie to them. I mean, I, th I think it just shows you TikTok's just getting warmed up. I mean, if they're willing to do that, imagine what they can do to try to push all kinds of, all kinds of false information about elections, about issues. We've seen what they've done uh, with their anti-Israel rhetoric. I mean, they're just, and the biggest problem is they are essentially a backdoor for the Chinese Communist Party. So, I mean, I, just, I think it's, it's dangerous. Yeah, good to see you all. Yeah.